My name is Tessa Rissacker. I was in the College of Letters and Sciences. I did a double major in English and theater and performance studies, and I did a double minor in creative writing and journalism. Before I even set foot on campus, I was looking through the English department course listings, and there was one on literature and history of the 1970s. It was taught by Professor Scott Saul, who is awesome and so enthusiastic about art and culture in a way that was really infectious. He picked up on the fact that I was really enthusiastic and invited me to be a part of his honors seminar that he was doing the following semester in American Studies. So Rainbow Sign was this pioneering black cultural center that was in Berkeley from 1971 to 1977. It was so many things. It was um, an art gallery, it was a performance venue, it was a literary salon, it was a gathering place and a spot where a lot of really incredible art happened. It was such an intersection point for so many people's lives and it was such an interesting time in Berkeley and in the country. I paired up with another student named Max Lopez. There was nothing uh, on the internet about it when we looked. I felt a responsibility to, to try and give this place and these people um, some much deserved limelight. The website came out really well and we got some news attention uh, from Berkeley side and Slate and Berkeley News did a feature on it and it's taken off in some really amazing ways. The Oakland Museum got in touch because they're adding a permanent black power exhibit um, and they wanted to feature a rainbow sign. And then the De Young Museum got in touch because they are bringing a major black power, black art retrospective called Soul of a Nation to San Francisco this November. And they want to shine a light on the importance of rainbow sign. So I came to Berkeley as a transfer student, as a reentry student, um, and I did not expect to do any of the things that I ended up doing. I felt totally excited and proud that I was able to do research that actually interests people and that actually kind of matters to history and, um, and that I had the wherewithal and the, the resources to do that. It was really empowering and exciting.